Hello, everybody. Dave here with Funky Food with Dave and Paula. Hey! Jake's not here. We're actually at a, a house up on the lakes. And we're staying here for a couple nights. And we figured we'd do our, do our taste test Monday here. Um, hope everybody's doing well. It's an absolutely gorgeous day here in Vermont. Mm. Um, next week, this week is going to be next week. It's going to be in the 50s and 60s all week. I can't wait for that. So, today's taste test monday will be k-pop foods xxx chili sauce sweet and tangy with an extra kick korean hot sauce spice level three peppers i don't know if that's three out of three or what but it's three peppers so i'm not sure what that means um let's see a um, bunch of different little they have a directions how to make spicy meatballs and here is the ingredient list. Gushang pepper paste. Okay. Rice paste. Corn syrup. Hot pepper powder. I wish, I just wish they would name what their the peppers are. Uh, hot pepper powder. Soybean paste. Distilled alcohol. Ew. Salt. Wheat extract. Soy seasoning. Uh, garlic juice lime juice soy sauce soybeans lactic acid sodium benzonite water sugar and capsaicin extract contains soy and wheat the only pepper it really names is the got shu jang pepper got shu jang pepper paste i did not look that up before i started the video i'm sorry about that i should have i have no idea what that that pepper is for heat and then it gives capsaicin extract and so we will give it a shot. Uh, four out. Well, that looks bigger than four ounces. Oh, 10.4. Okay. You can look these people up at www.kpopfoods. K-P-O-P foods.com. And you can also look them up on Facebook and uh, Instagram at K-Pop Foods. And I will show that after. Yeah. And we got this at TJ Maxx. For Love TJ Maxx. Cents. TJ Maxx and Home Goods is my place, my jam. Oh, that smells good. Take a look at that. Honey. That smells really good. Oh, hmm. that smells good. Interesting. Yeah. Oh, I can smell the alcohol in it. Yeah. Look at that, guys. Gold spoon. Yeah. We're up in the world. Yeah, he's fancy. Um, so it looks like more like a uh, sriracha style sauce. It's kind of thick. Very red. I do not like these things because they always jam up. Just in that little bit, it was starting to jam up. Oh, that smells good. Here we go. Wow. Ooh, that's got a bite. A zippity doo -dah. Wow. That took me by surprise. Very sweet. You get the, uh, the corn syrup. Yeah. Um, the lime juice, soy sauce. I'm getting all those flavors. The sugar. Ooh. I wish I knew what that pepper was. That Gu Shu Jang pepper. That's got a that's got a sting, and you definitely get the alcohol out of it. I'm gonna take one more spoon, then we're gonna try it on a piece of pizza. That is very different. That is very. Very different sauce right there. Would you like to try just the No, thank no. you. Yep. Yeah. Um, sweet and tangy with an extra kick. Definitely sweet. You do get the tang from the... The... Uh, uh, oh, sorry. Uh, from the lemon and the garlic, lime, 
the soy, yeah, the salt, everything that you get, you get this, you get the flavor on this. And I get the alcohol distilled, but you still get that flavor. All right, we're gonna try this on a little bit of piece of pizza. This pizza is from a local pizza shop in our town called The Village Pizza. They've been there since 1981. I was actually a kid in school. And a quick little story, because I know Paula wants to get going because we got things to do. That year, the summer of 81, I worked at the Ludlow, Vermont Cemetery. And my very first paycheck I ever got was from there. True official paycheck. I went, cashed at the bank, went to the Village Pizza, bought a large pepperoni pizza, went across the street to the Jiffy Mart, which is a convenience store, bought a half gallon of milk, walked home, which was about a mile from where uh, the pizza place, walked home, and that was the very first thing for food I ever bought. Went home, ate that whole entire pizza. I love that story. The next, that <laughs> following weekend, I actually went over to the record shop in Claremont, New Hampshire, and bought the very first album I ever bought, not cassette, but vinyl album, which was Iron Maiden, Number of the Beast. So that was what my first paycheck I ever went to. All right, let's try this on the pizza. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> mm. Now, I was going to give this heat wise by itself. That's a solid everyday one, pushing the upper levels of one. Putting it on the pizza, the, the kick is still there. The, the the flavor of this sauce without adding the pizza, I was going to give that an 8. And it, that will keep it at an 8. It's a solid 8. This sauce is very interesting. It's different. You can tell it's a Korean style because you almost get that Korean style barbecue sauce, the sweetness and the tanginess out of it. And then it does have an extra kick. I'm going to have to look up that Gu Shu Zhang pepper. Can I see? I just want to see where people can find it because... Yeah, it's on the back side here by the thing. Can you find it? Yeah. Okay. Oh, take 50% off your next purchase, honey. Yep. Yeah. I purchased that again. It says serve it on sandwiches, pasta, or alone. Yeah, on pizza. Make, make meatballs. Yeah. Looks... That's a really different sauce. That's really good. Good job, babe. Yep. Um, so, yes, would I buy this again? In a heartbeat. And I know there was two other flavors over there when I was there, so I'm going to have to look and see if they have any more. They had this one, the sweet and tangy, then they had a sweet, and then they just had hot. It just said hot, not extra, not 3X chili. It just said hot chili sauce. I would definitely buy this again. Um, it definitely goes good with pizza. Oh, yeah. This is... This is a different sauce. I like it. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, ding, ding. As you can see, the water is out there. I don't know if you can see, but probably how not. gorgeous. Snow is melting. And uh, we will talk to you Wednesday for another taste test video. I hope you guys had a great day. Have a Take wonderful care of evening. Remember, hot sauce never goes out of style. Catch you later, guys. Bye.